is currently back in treatment and won't be in our content during this time. We know that many of you have questions, but to protect during this time, we would like to ask for privacy on this matter. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have a snoring puppy over here, so if you can hear anything, that is exactly what it is. I actually wanted to talk about Family of Nomads today. I've talked about them before. Now is not the time to start licking your bottom. When I talked about them, it was a brief synopsis over what their channel is. I was just doing a lot of, hey, these are the kind of things that I find a little bit iffy about this channel. These are some things that I like about this channel, some things I don't. It kind of went to and from. The mum, Jessica, they have three kids and they live in this great big RV. Now this RV, isn't like a typical RV, it's like the Rolls Royce of RVs, if you know what I mean, like it's huge. There's definitely some things that people have an issue with. Number one is their really cramped quarters, even with a really big RV. I'm 15, I live in a camper and this is my room. So this is my Kirby table that I made myself. Over here, is my... You know, I'm trying um to be nicer and not like pile on them, but bro, why do you have your kid hunched over like that? Why? It looks like this. It literally looks like this. Originally, before they got the newer one, they were in these like bunks and these bunks were basically just like flat on top of each other and the mum and the dad had the great big back room and there was like no privacy, like it was very... No, no privacy. And this is coming from someone who lives in a big static, however, it's like obviously it has two bedrooms, two bedrooms at the back, has a big double room here and then it has the kind of communal area but there's doors there's doors separating everything but i can understand from like a sound perspective even in a static i mean you can hear everything every little noise if someone's snoring in the next door you can hear it with like you know walls of paper thin you can relate to living in quite a small area but i could not imagine living in an area that is that cramped that crowded all of the time without any real doors separating it there was another thing as well where the fact that she she basically like gives the gives their kids like hygiene allowances and gives them shopping allowances she does pay the kids and if i can find the comment or the video that she did where she says that she does actually pay her kids for appearing in advertisements for instance yes actually they do the kids earn a percentage of all of the income that we bring in because they are working and they deserve to be compensated for that time she does a lot of sponsorships like so many sponsorships which is one of the things we're going to get onto today the reason why i wanted to talk about them is that there's actually been quite a lot of hubbub i noticed that a video that i did on them this was months ago um all of a sudden started getting more traction and usually when videos get more traction literally out of the blue it means that that topic has become more popular people are starting to look look for it and all of that so i knew that something had obviously happened because all of a sudden i was getting loads of comments on this video and i was like wait hold on a minute after it had been made ages ago do you know what i mean so i went back and had a little look and in a recently deleted video um the mum basically did this video which has been doing the rounds over on tiktok and a lot of people have their own opinions about it for privacy on this matter i'm here to let millions of people know that because i have been broadcasting every detail of their life to the public for several years my child is now struggling with mental health issues is he saying that their eldest kid has gone back into hospital for treatment now their eldest kid without disclosing too much information um basically has pans pandas i didn't really know a lot about it until i went away and just did a little bit of research but i'll leave what it is here because i don't want to butcher any of the terminology just pause and read it and then i'll leave the symptoms over here um but basically the symptoms can be characterized as like turning into irritability irritability um ocd like getting really obsessive compulsive disordered eating it sort of all manifests itself, but yeah, I'll leave both the things here and out. It was basically the catalyst for them wanting to travel full time. My oldest child was sick for five years. Two and a half years ago, we went to the doctor and they said they could stop all of the treatments and were officially in remission. We missed out on five years of their life, five years together as a family. We wanted to take back that time. It basically started displaying all these symptoms, was got diagnosed, went into remission, and they went for a whole five year period of it being utterly crap for everyone involved. Now, 
We then come on to the fact that now people have a lot of feelings, thoughts and feelings about it when the mum basically came out with this video which has now been deleted saying the kid is back in hospital. It is currently back in treatment and won't be in our content during this time. We know that many of you have questions but to protect during this time we would like to ask for privacy on this matter. Now, I've seen a few TikToks and I may post them, I may not because I don't want them to get all like quite catty and personal but a lot of people feel a lot of people feel that their way of living wouldn't help wouldn't aid the child in their in their mental health if that makes any sense wouldn't aid their um their illness it wouldn't help especially if you have symptoms like i've just talked about like ocd disordered eating you know um obviously probably needing quite a lot of space you know uh really overthinking things becoming depressed and anxious living in an environment with like two other siblings two parents and a really cramped rv where you don't really have a lot of space some people do have a great big issue with that i don't have this particular illness i didn't know a lot about it but as someone who suffers, suffers a lot from like depression and anxiety like literally on a daily basis living in those kinds of head like cramped headquarters with my siblings and my parents just traveling about all the time like constantly being with them i wouldn't like it but i do know that there is definitely a market nowadays for people who just want to drop everything and become van lifers so i understand where it's happening I don't know why she deleted this video. I've got no idea why. Did she delete it because she felt like it was too personal and she made a mistake? Or did she delete it because she was getting backlash? I didn't see it when it was originally there, so I couldn't say, but once again, it has been taken down. What I will say to this as well, because I went on the Reddit thread, I went on the Reddit thread, and if she's taken it down for privacy reasons, what I will say is that when I went to have a little look on the Reddit thread, they were pulling out posts from Jessica, the mum, from back in 2021, where she literally gave, like, sold this child's whole story, was basically saying this, this is how we decided that we were going to be full-time, uh, full-time travellers, all of that. Um, and some of the, some of the stuff that she says, some of the stuff that this mum is saying about her child and about the the details the in-depth details of what the child had to go through is really quite something it goes into details of the child wanting to like unalive and so, like stuff that you would just wouldn't do and the thing is this this isn't a really young child either they're about um i think they're about 16. this is also the same child where people had a massive issue because on their birthday the only thing that they wanted to do was stay in a hotel 15th birthday the only thing they wanted was to go to a hotel a lot of people did say they were like well what apparently in this video they had a full-length video out on youtube i haven't watched it but apparently the child was going around saying i can't believe there's like doors or something and i you know it doesn't take <sighs> You can understand why people are all of a sudden feeling a little bit like um, maybe this is your signal to stop what you're doing. They wanted a bed. They wanted a roof. They wanted to not be on wheels. That was all she asked for for her 15th birthday. Shit happens and parents can't always control every situation that their children end up in. But if you have the financial resources for it and all your child is asking for for her birthday is to stop willingly choosing to live like you're homeless when you have the ability to live off of wheels with a roof over your head what are you doing for the other 364 days out of the year this is their business this is their circus this is what they want to do if they feel like that is the right thing to be doing with their child then who am i to question that that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just giving like two sides to this argument because there are people that do voice their concerns there's a cubby and not even sit up all the way in there and then immediately after that video there's another video about how it's so hard to find a stylist that gets her hair extensions right on the road. So she's going to book a ticket and fly back to Florida to see the same hairstylist every time she needs her roots touched up or whatever the hell. Another thing as well is that Jess has always said, she has said multiple times that if they wanted to stop traveling, they could. Now bringing it back to the sponsorship thing. They literally did a sponsorship with Shell, you know, like the oil people. They literally did a sponsorship with them. They do all these little sponsorships for people who are like homeschooling, on the go. Um, and they do all of these different, um, whenever they go anywhere, because they're constantly traveling to different areas, you'll always see like the little paid for promotion when they go to like the little Disney places or just wherever they are. They always have these little like paid for promotions. 
They literally get paid to travel about. So if that were to suddenly be taken away from them, if one of their children, one of their, ch one of their kids was like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Realistically, realistically, and I'm not just talking about them. I'm talking about just all of these other full time traveling around and living in an RB, RB, RV families. Would they stop? Or would they, like, I don't, at, th at this point, the whole reason why they went traveling is because they said they had a really shitty five years with their child and, you know, they just wanted to, like, live life to the fullest. But if their child is now going back and, like, starting to go through the same, you know, if they're now going back into hospital and all of this, bearing in mind they have actually taken her off of social media, which is just as well, because I'm going to be completely honest, their child didn't really look like they wanted to be filmed anyway. And that's just from that's just from like an outsider's perspective you can you can say that i'm wrong i do think that when you are heavily sponsored and when you have all these different opportunities to make money being full-time content creators which is what they say all the time then will, would they really would they be able to feasibly stop and go back to living in a house and be you know dropping all these different sponsors sponsors they literally did a sponsorship with shell how much money would shell would have but quite literally, how much money would they have got for that? And he is super adamant that we need to use Shell Rotella T6 engine oil. Some of these um, advertisers, you're just like, they would never, they would never partner. But they do, they literally do. And I'm like, Shell, like, you would have been getting so much money for that sponsorship. And, um, you know, it does just make you question a little bit. It does just make you go like, well, I don't know. I, I think another big part of this whole thing as well is because because of how um, regimented and sort of controlled the mum always seems, which is probably just her personality, because um, of how regimented and you know in control she is about the kids spending and about all of this and wanting to micromanage things, um, you know, it, it does just make you question. It does just make you question like just how how lax would they actually be if one of their kids did go to them and was like hey i don't want to do this anymore I hope their child really is okay and i wish them like obviously nothing for the best but i think in some in some cases this is always going to rile up the internet because on one hand you'll see the fact that a child is very clearly in distress very clearly um relapsing so to speak um and they'll they'll link two and two together. I mean, the mum also did do um, recently. I think her child was still in the hospital. She did a partnership with Dove talking about people who suffer with disordered eating and things. And some people were well. There's one comment that's basically saying, "Hey, like, is this just because you're being paid to do it, or is this because this and that?" And she she responded in a comment saying, "No, like this this does this this goes through the family. It's really important to us. We reached out to them, which is." all well and good but i think it's just a, it's just a little bit too close to the bone when your child is then still is she in the hospital is she not i don't know it's just what i'm thinking and it's what quite a lot of people think as well i mean believe it or not despite them not having like they have quite a large audience over on tiktok actually i will say i think it's about two point something million so they've got quite a large following what they're most known for is basically just regurgitating the same things over and over again talking about their hygiene budgets and from my last video that i did where i was completely confused as to why they would do this and that i understand it to a certain degree we give them a quarterly budget for hygiene products in the real world if you run out of money then you can't buy anything else but these are children that we're talking about and while we're at the store i do walk them through the entire process while they are picking out what they need and they are responsible for tracking the money that they spend. I think it's ultra important to teach kids about finances and things otherwise they'll then end up as adults who are just constantly not all the time but if you're not really taught how to handle your own money and about what what the value of money is then you might grow up one day and just you know just rack up loads of credit card debt because you're like eh, whatever you don't you don't have to worry about it. I understand it but then I also know that on the other side of the coin if you're too controlling over um making kids think about finances and just heavily involving them and just where all the money goes and stuff if you're too much like that they'll grow up just being ultra like anxious all the time about their money and about their finances and about oh do i have enough do i not and then just sort of end up being quite tense about around quite controlling around money if that makes any sense personally i've seen it from both sides of the spectrum well i do think that their whole stance around it can be a little bit like you know like if, if their child doesn't have any money to go like there's this one video where 
her kid went to the store and got a load of makeup and she was short by like a small amount and her mum wouldn't fit the rest of it it was like barely anything so the kids card declined and then the mum and bearing in mind the mum was filming all of this she didn't put the camera down she like wanted to get this on camera just to probably show everyone else like what what good parenting this is because that that is her definition of good parenting whether or not that's mine yours whoever that that is hers and she wanted to no doubt showcase it well as soon as the kids stuff got you know the kids car got declined she then had to like pick which one she wanted and i was just like okay if the card's gonna climb fine but why put it on the internet and that's what i said last time i think that with her it just goes one step too far and she needs to constantly show everyone that they, they've even got a sponsorship with one of those like kid money uh things they do sponsorships for everyone everyone which is the reason why a few people were a little bit like side eye when they did the whole dove thing although i do think that campaign is definitely useful and it is it's a great thing and i think more people should be more aware of how social media affects everything the whole dove campaign was actually um trying to talk about the dangers of social media and how social media has a negative impact on teenagers eating and all of this kind of stuff and i'm just a little bit like and the part of it where jess was basically saying as a parent we need to protect our kids it's like you guys are full-time content creators what are you talking about your, your your children are no doubt gonna grow up living online do you know what i mean like they're then gonna grow up wanting to do the same thing they're then gonna be subjected to the same kind of thing i do get it i get it i get it but the irony is not lost on me go go check it out on tiktok just type in family and nomads and you'll see kind of what i mean there's just a few differing opinions i will say but i do like just being able to sometimes at some point stay a bit more neutral than others yeah that's basically it i'm gonna go and take one of my girls to a birthday party now the sun is coming out and i hope for you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and i'll catch up with you guys in the next video